Hello, I'm Mrs. Gardner. Hi, I'm Mrs. G. Hi, I'm Mr. Carmona. Hello, I'm Ms. McLaren. Hola, soy el señor Perez. Hi, I'm Ms. Harris. Hi, I'm Mrs. Navia. Hi, I'm Jessica Mraz, Counseling Secretary. So, on a serious note, we heard from students that school counselors force them to take classes. This is actually not the case and the reason why we have such a thorough course selection process. It is important that when we come to your classes for our course selection lesson, that you are actually putting down the classes that you want to take in your individualized academic plan. For example, if you put down that you want to take an AP World History course, we build the master schedule to accommodate that many students wanting the course. Now when you come in at the beginning of the school year and you say that you want to go into a college prep world history, we may not have the space for that. So that is why it's so important um, to connect what we're doing in that lesson to what you're actually putting down in your student portal. As school counselors, we want to make sure you're understanding your choices and making informed decisions. This is why we also meet with you one-on-one -on -one and go over your transcript to ensure that you are placed in the right class. We may suggest that you could take an AP, IB, or more advanced course based on what universities are telling us. If your plan is to go to a four-year university, they are letting us know that they are hoping and wanting students to take a rigorous schedule. That means taking those more advanced courses. And this is not just your senior year, but also your freshman, sophomore, and junior year. During course selection is going to be the only time that you're able to modify your individualized academic plan. You are able to log into your ARIES account with your families and make any changes that are needed. School counselors, again, will be in your classrooms and then we'll meet with you one-on-one -on -one to review those steps on how to build your academic plan. Course selection is the process in which students are able to request classes that they would like to take for the following school year. This is important because we really want students to be involved in creating their Individualized Academic Plan, or IAP. While choosing your classes, we encourage all students to, to connect the classes or pathways you decide to choose and decide to take in high school to your post-secondary goals. For your individualized academic plan, you can plan out your entire high school career. So for example, if you're a sophomore, you're going to plan out your junior year and your senior year. If you're a freshman, you're going to be planning out your sophomore, junior, and senior year. So it's important to review your entire academic plan, select the classes remaining that you still need, keep in mind your graduation requirements that you need to fulfill, and your um, A through G requirements that you still need to fulfill. Hey Mr. Perez, let's tell the students about the four-step process to course selection. Great idea, Ms. McLaren. So, step one is for you to watch this awesome course selection video. Step two is to make sure you're in class during our course selection lesson, which is coming up soon. During this time, you're gonna have the opportun opportunity to build your individualized academic plan. So make sure you're here, make sure you pay attention, because this means you're in charge of your future classes. Ms. McLaren, what's step three and four? Step three is called our Pathways Night. That's when you come out with your parents to be able to see all the different pathways we have to offer here at Sandy Central High Schools. Pathways such as AVID, ROTC, Biomed, Agriculture, and so much more. Make sure you bring your parents out and listen up for the day and time. Step four is when you're gonna come in with your English teacher to the counseling office. And you're gonna sit with your counselor and you're gonna finalize your course selections for either the next two years, three years, or so on. At that time, you wanna make sure that you chose your number one, your number two, and your number three selection. Make sure that you are secure in those selections because at the end, you're gonna get what you get and you can't throw a fit about it and we can't change it. Now our jobs as counseling professionals is to make sure that we give you all the pertinent information needed so that you can make a well-informed decision for all of your post-secondary options. And to let you know, we're representatives from community colleges, universities, trade schools, military, tell us. ROTC has definitely taught me a lot of things from leadership to education skills. It's definitely given me a confidence booster. Well, you definitely get a lot of support and motivation, especially from your upperclassmen and the instructors. They teach you the leadership 
and the motivation and the dedication to the core and in the long run it really helps and supports and then later you can do that to the same to other freshmen that come through as well. You don't have to be military minded to join ROTC. You'll gain a lot of discipline, uh, study skills, you'll get time management and leadership skills. You'll be able to work with others. I want to take on an Air Force career. ROTC will help me with my three-year certificate so I'll get a higher pay grade and a higher rank right out of high school. Join ROTC and be a leader. I'm in the Agricultural Mechanics pathway and I'm specifically in welding and I really enjoy the class and learning hands-on skills and you can take it to get welding certificates. The pathway can take you to welding, welding assistance, underwater welding and also a welding inspector and you can make up to a six-figure salary. This is a class for all students no matter your gender because anyone can be good at welding. If you're a hands-on learner or a visual learner this is the class for you. I'm in the agriculture pathway, specifically animal science. What I like most about it would be the close relationships that you build when you're in that program because you're automatically an FFA. We learn about raising animals, how to take care of them, and we have to feed them. So we learn a lot about responsibility. When you get the animal, they, they don't listen to you, they're not trained, so you have to do it yourself and it takes a lot of work. I'd say you probably learn how to be more of a leader because you have to like train your animal, you have to basically be more commanding. Another area of agriculture that I'm involved in is floor design. And in the floor design classes, we learn how to make little arrangements and wrap flowers, and we get to sell the flowers, but the arrangements are just more for satisfaction and gifts. Floral design can help give you skills that can help you right out of high school. Um, you can be a florist, that's probably one of the biggest ones. Freshmen should join the ag program because it really helps them in life with responsibilities and taking care of things, growing them, raising them, and it'll just help them build better skills that they'll need in life. Come join us and grow with us, you'll love it. If you're really interested in graphic design, it's a great class and a great place to start too. I've learned a lot about computers and editing. I personally want to do communications and journalism. I think we're going to start becoming more and more dependent on technology. So I feel as if no matter what career we do, we need to at least know some idea of knowledge on how to use technology. If you have technical and creative skills, then this is the place for you. The career pathway I am in is video production and I enjoy it because I get to connect with people and it allows me to get a career that I would like to pursue in the future. I've created videos for the counselors, the Daily Bulletin of course, and also for Walmart. We learned a lot because we learned we had to be on time, we had to get there early, dress appropriately, and of course do what we do best, videos. The skills you're going to learn here is communications, meeting deadlines, and being a team player. That's number one. Why wouldn't you want to join this class? It's your playground, you can be as creative as you want, and you can make friendships that'll last forever. So AVID means advancement via individual determination. Um, if you take this course, you are going to have guidance, of course, but it's a really self-driven course. Not to scare you away, but you are gonna, you're gonna wanna have some goals when you go in there. AVID does go on college trips, which is a huge plus about it. So it's different to talk about college, but then it's another experience to be on the campus, seeing kids walking back and forth to their classes, doing their homework. It, it makes it feel real and personal. So you can go, you can figure out if that's something you want to do. It's almost instantaneous when you step onto the campus, it, like, do I belong here? Do I fit here? Join AVID because we are a family unit here on campus. We do not turn away from your problems. Although it is a self-driven course, we are always here for guiding steps. The upperclassmen, myself included, we're always gonna be here to guide you into the right steps to grow as a student. That's the main point of AVID. You join and you come out a better student with um, so much more knowledge and self-confidence. It really is the first step to taking initiative in your future. It's like a job, 
basically you're in a, you're in a huge zone with big machinery and you're using it. You're learning how to talk to people like if you're in a job site like construction, stuff like that. If you're in a lab, you're learning safety, critical thinking, problem solving. If there's any job, say that you might need to use some sort of heavy machinery in, such as a, a table saw, you have a band saw. This can lead you to engineering, uh, carpentry, woodworking, cabinet making, finishing. It can really lead you to those pathways. Something I'm putting together right now is a portfolio. It's like showing the process of me putting it together. And I feel like me showing that to a, say somebody I want to get a job from, would, you know, it'd just be like, hey, this person, they can work with these things and with no problem. I'm a sophomore, I'm going through my senior year with Woodshop. Uh, if you're looking to join, I'm happy to help. If you want to get your hands dirty, then you should definitely join Industrial Wood Tech. In this class, you'll get your CPR certification, you'll complete hours as an internship. Also, you'll learn a lot of hands-on experience. The main priority is you making sure the patient has what it needs, it's comfortable. You start understanding that, you know, they're not feeling well and they just want to feel better, they want to go home. And, you know, nurses try their best, you know, on making them feel better. That's why we practice first semester with everything. We go through everything. And then, you know, you continue and then you go to Hemet Valley or you could go to a clinic. This career pathway could take, you know, to the medical field. Uh, you could do a dentist assistant, you know, you could do vet. You also get college credits, which I'm sure that look good in your portfolio, on your resume. Personally, I think this is like the best experience you could do your high school year because not every high school has these programs. If you would see yourself doing this, you know, don't even think about it twice. Join it, sign up, and you won't regret it at all. The career pathway I'm in is called CTE, Clinical Assisting. What we learn in here, we do CPR certified, we do blood draws, and they set you to be ready towards the field. You become more mature, you pursue that mentality that you have to have for those patients. I encourage incoming classes to join this program because if you're willing to learn something new and you're willing to do something new every day and to take on a new challenge to set your goals higher and higher, I really encourage you to take this pathway. This is my second year of culinary at San Jacinto High School and I do enjoy it very much. I'm the chef mostly, so I usually read the recipes and I fill out the labs and I tell everybody basically their spots. It's a collaborative thing. We all work together to try to bring out this a great product. The other responsibilities in the kitchen are the chefs, the cooks, the assistant cooks, and the managers. We also gain our food handlers cards when we do um, intro to culinary, and that's good for like two years, so it's really beneficial. Um, I actually do have a job right now at the Camelot and Hemet as one of their nighttime servers and weekend servers. Without my food handlers that I got in this class, I probably wouldn't have gotten my job. The International Baccalaureate is a program that you start in your junior year, but you continue on to your senior year because they are two-year courses. Um, they're very work-heavy. Um, you get a lot of assignments and a lot of projects, and you do a lot of the learning on your own because teachers are not supposed to necessarily hold your hand through it because it is a it is a IB course and it's it's similar to AP but it's instead it's you have very smaller class sizes your teachers are really one on one with you since you only have like 11 other kids in the class you meet some of your very close friends in there just cuz you're working with them all the time some of the skills that that you'll probably most likely learn just through experience definitely researching and using sources that you'd never even knew existed you'll find a lot of sites that that have really good information that you probably would have never found if it wasn't for the, the diploma. You get a GPA boost, um, you get college credit, and it is actually accepted by many universities throughout the globe. Um, and you can go you know, to other countries and study abroad if that is what you want to do. I'm in the biomedical career pathway. I really enjoy it because I've always enjoyed putting myself in a challenge. And this class is very much so a challenge. Um, it starts freshman year and right off the bat you dive into a variety of medical careers and that's what I like about the course that it doesn't just focus on a single medical career field but it, it covers a vast um, majority of career fields like forensics, 
um, DNA analysis, even cardiovascular surgeons, you just explore everything and it's very hands-on course. So every week, every day, you're practically working on a new lab. And instead of just reading about these medical procedures, you're actually doing them. This is a four-year program and the four classes you'll be taking is Biomed, Human Body Systems, Medical Interventions, and Biomedical Innovations. It also benefits you and how colleges see you because it is a five credit class and gives you a GPA boost, which looks really good on college applications. You'll really enjoy it. I am having a great experience in the engineering pathway because this is the first year that it is here at this school and I'm very excited for what's to come. It introduces you to the basics of engineering and the many pathways that will come with engineering because there are so many for example, chemical engineering, computer engineering, electrical. Some of the skills that you learn in the engineering pathway is how to design something, such as the first steps as to how a product is made, how to come up with an idea, how to test it, how to find a solution for it. And you also learn how to draw different types of concept sketches, which is a first step in designing something. We do have computers, so the sketches you will be making for your inventions will not be completely on paper. Engineers also, nowadays, they make a lot of money. You know, it's good money, it's a stable income, and you will definitely be financially secure in your future if you decide to go into the engineering pathway. I am currently in the EMR pathway, emergency medical responder, and I like it a lot because it allows us to become certified to be on scene once we complete the class and we get CPR certified. The class helps build a lot of character and it encourages you to be more open to everyone and learn how different situations affect people, especially on an emotional level because if something happens, people freak out a lot and you need to understand that everyone's different in different situations. In the course, we are going to learn how to move people from in and out of ambulances using gurneys and learning how to do all the different types of CPR and how if people are choking, how to save them even blood pressure and how to take heart rate. This is my first year, it's a one year course, and right now it's really gonna help me push into learning more about the medical and knowing more about the body so I can learn much better in college and have a better understanding. Hi, our career pathway is public safety. My career pathway is law enforcement. We're learning right now about codes, your human rights, and amendments. And forensic science, I wanted to learn how to like read fingerprints and how they got to the place and how they died because there are more information on how the person could find on just one tiny fingerprint and a blood DNA as well. When you're done taking law enforcement, you get your own um, guard card. When I graduate from high school, I want to become a detective. I want to go help people, help them feel safe. Public safety is a great career pathway. Visual and performing arts includes classes such as ceramics, draw, paint, choir, band, and theater. So the visual and performing arts is not something you need to be good in or something you need to have experience on because you will learn it in the beginning. I chose ceramics because I feel like that needs a lot of concentration on what you're doing. And other pathways like drama, that needs like a lot of courage, you know, because it's hard to go in front of people. So I think that's like a challenge if you want to give yourself. And choir as well, you know, it's not easy to sing in front of a lot of people. So the benefits of the visual and performing arts would be thinking in a different way, use your imagination, your thought, express your feelings. I would recommend you come out and try visual and performing arts to tap into your creative side. I've been in AP since my 10th grade year, and it has really helped me, you know, with time management, or my schoolwork, study skills. It really prepared me for college. Some of the benefits of the AP is it gives you a GPA boost on your on your classes. It also looks good on your college applications because it shows that you're a more dedicated student to your schoolwork. Another benefit of AP is at the end of the year when we take our AP test, if you score really high on it and get like a, about a four or a five, you can actually earn college credit as a high school student. AP might come off as really challenging for some person, but it honestly, it really helps shape you for the future because if you're going to college, you are really gonna be working like that in the AP class. It's gonna be very like rigorous and challenging, but it's, it's worth it in the end. Join AP and be college ready. I'll see you there. Dual 
and concurrent enrollment is a college class that you could take here at the high school or at MSJC. It's basically just um, a college class that you could get college credit for and it's really nice to have the college experience. It looks good on college applications and gives you a boost in your GPA. Concurrent enrollment you could take as a ninth grader at the, at the college and you get high school and college credit. Apply at MSJC for dual and concurrent enrollment today. See you during course selection.